Here we have a hard drive that came in for data recovery. Customer wrote, will not power on or read. Three and a half inch hard drive by Samsung. Right now we can see the components on the motherboard without having to take that motherboard out. Let's quickly take a look and see what's going on. And if we are able to figure this out. We're going to start by measuring a few components. Or before we do this, and I did it before I started the video, is I attempted to power on the hard drive and completely dead. The drive is not spinning and it's not being recognized by the computer. Let's go ahead and plug it just so that you can see. Okay, the hard drive is not spinning. Dead. Now that we got that out of the way, let's start by inspecting the motherboard. And a few components of interest. We're going to start by measuring this component in continuity mode. And right now, the resistor is not continuous. Look at this. We have a blown resistor. What if we go to resistance mode and measure it? And I'm getting, oh well. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> my fault, my fault. I'm using the probe from the voltage injection tool along with the probe from the multimeter. That does not work. Now I'm using the correct probes. What was I thinking? All right, continuity mode. Let's measure this again. All right, so the resistor is good. I was getting an OL, even in resistance mode, I was getting an OL, and then I realized I had two probes from two different devices. Great, great job. So the resistor is good. Okay, I thought it was blown, but it's good. And now we're gonna measure, in diode mode, we're gonna measure this component here. 0 0.47 and if we flip the probes and measure this one we have a problem here we have a problem right here done consider the hard drive fixed unless there's something else wrong with the hard drive but for the most part consider it fixed let's remove this component And where are we going to get that component from? Where are we going to get that component from? Yesterday, my five-year-old daughter came in and she said she want to be part of the Northridge Fix team. So I told her you must pass a test in order to become part of the team. And she said, what's the test? I told her I'm going to give you those hard drives, the 3.5 inch hard drives and 2.5 inch. And I want you to take out the screws and remove the boards. So she did. She removed about seven boards and I have them right here. This one, we have over 1200 drives here and I wanna remove the boards from all those drives. In case I need parts, I can just look through the boards rather than unscrew the board, waste time and look at the boards. So she did remove a few of those boards and now we're gonna look and see if we can locate that component so we can fix this drive. So she passed. And I have about 1,200 drives for her that she must unscrew and take the boards out. And then she came back to me. She said, what do I do with the screws? So I gave her a bag. Just put them inside the bag. And she was happy. Right there. Right there. Let's go ahead and desolder. And we're going to solder it back over here. But we must flip that component. And that's it. The job is done. All right, and let's see. 
Will that drive spin now? Is it going to spin? Yes, spinning. So we did hear the tone. Oh, 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 right there, right there. <laughs> yes, yes, everyone is happy, including my wife. Great job, great job, we did it. <laughs> done. Hard drive repair is done. That's it. We're going to back up the drive and we're going to invoice and mail this back to the customer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video. Mm -hmm.